you can see we're here at Dollar Tree right now. This is the biggest Dollar Tree in my area. So I thought that it would be really fun to take you guys on a walkthrough so that you guys can get a feel and kind of see what my store looks like. I want to thank Blue Land for sponsoring today's video. I am so excited. So we will chat about them in just a little bit. It's like now again, I know that everybody says, oh, your Dollar Tree is the best, blah, blah, blah. But you guys, I have to travel to the best Dollar Tree. This Dollar Tree is 30 minutes from my house. So you just have to travel sometimes. If you go to Dollar Tree website, you can find the store locator and I would just give them a call and ask them what their volume is because each store is by volume. So depending on what items are in which stores depends on the volume of each store. So the bigger the store, the more volume the store gets, the more items they're gonna have. So I did just wanna give you guys that little tip. So let's go on and see what they have. Okay, friends, so we're gonna start off and this is the biggest store in my area, my favorite one, the cleanest, and I always check the ends of the registers when I walk in because that's right where the carts are, and I found those new little squeeze toys for the kids, so I did pick up two for my kids. As I go to my left, like turn around from the registers, I should say, um, I kind of go up that back wall and that's where all the seasonal decor is, all the Valentine's Day stuff. Of course, it's right there when you walk in because they want you to see that. So I see the little gnomes and all the different signs. Look how far this Dollar Tree goes back. The floral section is absolutely amazing. This store always has the best florals, but it is a bit strange. I don't know why this is, but my smaller stores sometimes end up having better items than this big store. It's, it's really strange how that happens. But anyway, so as I'm walking down this first little aisle, more Valentine's Day stuff, of course. I know, I'm sure you guys are so sick of seeing the Valentine's Day stuff. I am too. Um, I do have a haul video coming out soon. I did pick up stuff from this store and I only picked up valentine's day stuff for my kids so just to kind of show you like what i would put in their basket or whatever but for the most part i'm done with valentine's day stuff so in this new haul it's just random items from this trip so of course my stores are starting to put out the spring stuff um, of course, they always have a ton of seeds. I believe you can get four for a dollar. It was obviously now it's a dollar twenty-five, which is super annoying, but it just is what it is. My uh, my husband always tells me not to be upset about the things that we can't change because what's the point? You know, you're just being upset for nothing. We can't change it. We can throw a fit. We can be upset, but corporate Dollar Tree doesn't care how we feel they're going to charge what they want to charge so we might as well just live with it it is what it is now and it's part of our life so anyway um, this is the back of where those seeds were next to this is the St. Patty's Day um, little setup I, I forget what they're called I know what they're called in retail um, I just can't think of the name right this second I know you guys will let me know in the comments and I appreciate every single one of you but on the end of I shouldn't have said but however because anything after but means I didn't really mean what I said before the but <laughs> anyway um, on the side were all the little gnomes and, you know, the same ones they have out every year. I do believe there was like one or two new things that I have never seen, but for the most part, they are all repeat items. I do believe the items that we're seeing right now are items that they may have already had, but don't quote me on that. And then, um, I know, you know, I'm yapping, so... I missed it, but those cute little garden stakes for the herbs with the little tags, how stinking cute are they? I ended up putting those back because I just couldn't justify spending $1.25 on like a cheap 
little, you know, flimsy pole with a cheap little tag, but that's just me. <laughs> so as you're walking up that aisle, so the florals, the um, spring, and then the cards to your left, you go all the way down and you have all your party supplies, your um, gift bags and gift tissue and cake decorating stuff. I was actually super shocked to see the icing comb set, the tips, as well as the bags. That is a really good deal for $1.25. So I did end up picking up one of each of those, but of course my daughter got into that before I could film my haul. <laughs> so I'm telling you now I picked it up. But then on this um, back aisle, end cap I should say, um, they are starting to put out the Easter stuff. I saw little egg um, miniature tag signs, I guess, um, some paint, stuff like that. So then we get to the toy section and this toy section is massive. Once again, they always have the best stuff in this toy section. And of course I have little girls, so I stick to the girl section, but if you have little boys, always check Dollar Tree's toy section because for $1.25, I mean, the stuff is cheap, but kids tear the stuff up anyway. So it doesn't really matter. So on the side, on the other side, it's really hard to film these because I'm like, I don't know rather to film the entire side and then come up the other side or just go, you know, show a little bit of the aisle on the left and then a little bit of the aisle on the right. I don't know. It's tricky. But anyway, so when you're walking down this aisle heading to the front of the store on the right hand side, they keep all the storage bins. It's so aesthetically pleasing to see them all. I personally love the ones with the florals because I'm a sucker for anything floral and pink, but that's just me. And then at the end of this aisle, of course, are the glow sticks, which you guys know I love. I love to do um, glow baths for my girls, as well as somebody had mentioned, which this was a really good idea, I never thought of it, to keep glow sticks around for when the power goes out. I thought, huh, like, why didn't I think of that? That's genius. So if you left that comment, thank you, because I did pick some up, pick some up for my, you know, stash. Moving on to, um, you kind of go like across the street, if you will. There's a cross aisle going um, like in the middle of the store. So you cross over to the next aisle and there's all your pictures to the left, um, all that kind of stuff. And then to the right are the books. And at the end of this aisle are the cards. Can you tell that I know this store like the back of my hand? Always, always, always check the end caps on like the off aisles, if that makes sense. So this one is kind of like in the middle of the aisle. And sometimes I miss those ones because I have like tunnel vision, you know, but always check those end caps because they always have really good stuff. So moving on to the very next aisle. I had already showed you the St. Patty's Day stuff, so I didn't want to bore you with that again, but we are going to the learning corner, and as always, they have tons and tons of amazing stuff for kids and learning and all that kind of good stuff, especially if you're a homeschool mom or, you know, you have young kids at home and you're just trying to teach them before they go off or whatever the case may be. Run to Dollar Tree. A dollar twenty-five is totally worth it. Those little educational books I pick up in Walmart for Sophia and they're literally like six, seven dollars. Absolutely ridiculous. Run to Dollar Tree and it's worth the dollar twenty-five. So on the right hand side, like across, same aisle. Um, is the crafting section. Now here's the weird thing. This is the nicest store, but the worst crafting section in my area. Now it looks good, but it's just the general crafter square stuff. I mean, they do have, um, you know, all kinds of crafting stuff, but 
I just feel like for this size of store that this craft section should be a little bit better. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. Once again, I would like to thank Blue Land for sponsoring today's video. And if you've never heard of Blue Land, they are an eco-friendly, safe and affordable cleaning solution company to save you money and space without any plastic waste. As many of you guys know, I've been super particular about my kids lately. And I've also been really mindful about the products that we use and the chemicals that we've been putting into our body. One of the biggest things that we've been trying to do is cut back on plastics. So when Blue Land reached out, I was super Super excited to bring you guys these amazing products that are not harmful to you all while saving a few dollars that way we can buy more crafting supplies not that we need any but since I'm trying to be better about plastics I was so excited to hear that blue land does not have any single-use plastics anywhere in their products these tablets are small, safe and easy to use and affordable, and all you need is just this small little tablet, a little bit of water, and you're good to go. It is so cool how it works. Let me show you because you guys are gonna be mind blown just like I was. It's super easy to do. All you have to do is take your glass bottle. You only need to purchase this glass bottle one time and then of course you can use your cleaning tablets to refill them. And these cleaning tablets are so affordable. So they're originally $2 a piece. If you buy them in bulk, they're $1.55 a piece. So once you fill that up with warm water to the line, then you're going to drop your tablet in and then once it's dissolved, then you're going to place your cap on. Then you just wash as usual and you guys, this stuff smells so good. I ended up using the lemon and I also don't have to be afraid to allow my daughters to use this as well. With them being safe and easy to use, they have no bleach, no added chemicals, parabens. If you guys did not know, I actually looked it up and it's really actually concerning how many of our products have parabens and parabens cause cancer, all kinds of cancer. It's really bad. So I'm at ease knowing that my Blue Lamb products don't have any of those harmful chemicals in them. Another plus is that they are EPA certified and every single ingredient is evaluated by top scientists. That way you know that you're getting only the best products. So one of our guilty pleasures is watching Shark Tank. And it's really funny, the other night we were watching Shark Tank and all of a sudden I heard the name Blue Blue Land and my ears just perked right up because I knew that name very well. So they went on Shark Tank and they actually ended up taking the deal with Mr. Wonderful. And I actually have an amazing deal here for you guys today. If you guys want to get this kit for 20% off, go to the link in the description box below. And you guys, you definitely want to try this out. Blue Land never does this. So definitely take me up on this offer. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Again, Again, I would like to thank Blue Lamb for sponsoring today's video and thank you so much for doing your part to save our planet. Now one thing I will say is I'm really glad that they came out with the trucks for an everyday Crafter Square item rather than it being in all the seasonal decor. Now I have plenty of trucks to go around so I don't need any but for those of you who like never saw them in your seasonal decor I pray that you guys at least see them in your crafters square section my dollar tree also um, never had the laser cutouts like the little star and the heart and some people found the keys now i did order it from the um d -Sash group on facebook but my stores never saw the keys so that's what i'm saying like this does look like a big store and although I'm very grateful for the crafting section that is at this store, I do feel like for the size of the store and the volume, um, it should be like a better, I've seen huge, gorgeous crafter square sets. Oh my goodness, per usual, I can't talk. I've seen gorgeous crafter square sections in other people's walkthroughs that look nothing like this store so that's just kind of my point but anyway moving on of course you have all the off office supplies shipping supplies to the left 
um, the wooden stuff for Crafter Square to the right, and then the poster boards and the foam board once again on the end left hand side. So coming in between that aisle, so if we're crossing the road again, <laughs> but we're on the end cap of the next aisle was all the vinyl, so I just kind of quickly got a shot. Um, disclaimer, this day I did not ask permission, shh, don't tell anybody, and it's like, what? what's the point of doing the right thing? Because when you do the right thing, it's a big deal anyway, so anyway, I ended up the next trip that I went asking permission to film in there nobody's face you know whatever um and I actually did call corporate and they told me that it's up to the manager and you know the guy was super nice so Nathan if you're watching I appreciate you because most people are not as kind as you but he is going to find out for us if I can officially film in here. Um, and if I can, I'll be so excited. Of course, I don't want to film anybody's face or anything of that nature. I just want to show you guys the products, um, you know, different things. And sometimes you need to be in the store to do that. So anyway, sometimes when you try to be a rule follower, it doesn't always work out. But hey, <laughs> that's life, right? Anyway, I just jabbed this entire time. And now we're in the kind of candle section and the automotive slash home repair slash stickers slash, or wall stickers, I should say. Um, and then at the end of this aisle to the right is all the wreath forms, the you know, the little flowers that come in the packs. Sometimes they have wooden flowers. I've never seen the wooden flowers. I've been on a mad hunt for those. But anyway, um, the cotton comes in the package. Um, the jute, all that good stuff was in one area with the ribbon. Did I say that? <laughs> and then next to these wall stickers, what was, yeah, is all the everyday florals. Now these are... I know that I've seen them before, but I feel like they've revamped them. Like, I feel like they're much better quality now. So I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe you guys saw those last year. But then again, I honestly can't remember what happened five minutes ago, let alone <laughs> last year. So I could totally be wrong. But I know you guys will let me know down in the comments. So this is the everyday floral section. However, these big leaf florals, I have never seen these before. Um, they're super pretty and they look really realistic. Now, they're really not my style, but if they're your style, I would definitely pick these up. Um, I could see them in a tall vase or something of that nature. So as I said, this is that section with all the ribbon. I forgot that they had these new artificial ferns. Four come in a pack. And I do believe the purpose of these is to make like gravestone arrangements. Um, I could be wrong, but I know that a lot of floral places carry things like that. And what made me think that was the ends are very, very small and to me, 
it looks like you can punch it into floral foam very easily. I don't, I don't know, but something about it just tells me that it's for gravestones, but I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> Maybe I'm crazy per usual. Actually, I know I'm crazy, but that's besides the point. Anyway, so moving down that aisle, kind of going backwards now, is, like I said, all the, um, vases and the beads and the rocks and the candle uh, you know the candle vases as well as all the candles and candle holders um this is that section if you guys have been around and you guys remember that lantern diy the half oh my goodness the half lantern diy that i did probably about two years ago let me know in the comments that you guys remember that that was the section that i found it in Moving on to the next aisle is the pet section. Now, of course, this store has a hefty pet section. I personally do not have any pets, so I always skip right over that, but I do always keep an eye out. You can use the bowls. You can use some of the pet items for DIYs, so I do kind of keep an eye out for that, but for the most part, I just kind of skip right over the animal section, and then to my right is all the bath section, so the toothbrush holders, the soap dispensers, the loofahs, and all that kind of good jazz. Right next to the pet section is the electronic section, and they are jam-packed with so many useful items. Now, the headphones and the chargers, they're super cheap. I like to get those for my kids and, you know, the iPads that they use and plug because they are careless, and these are very cheap and easy to replace, whereas the more expensive ones you know, hurt a little more when you have to replace it. So I like to get those for them. If I get it for myself, it's just like a quick, if I need it, I'll grab it, but I don't usually purchase that kind of stuff for myself at Dollar Tree, just because I have found that it just doesn't last. And I, you know, could put my money towards something that's going to last. So anyway, they do have a lot of useful things in that section though. Like the puck lights are really good. The night lights are really good. The light bulbs, so many other things, but as far as headphones and chargers, not so much. So moving on to across the street again is kind of like the makeup section, um, the oral care section, medicines, band-aids, um, you know, all that kind of good stuff. So kind of like toiletries um, is in this section. Now, this section is amazing for makeup. This is the only store that normally has name brand items in my area. So if I'm looking for makeup, then this is the store that I definitely head to. Once again, this is another end cap, so obviously it's cold, cough and cold season, so they always have those kinds of things on the end caps, as well as the DVDs. This is the spot I always find them in. Now, this store doesn't always have DVDs, but when I find them, like I said, it's either on like an end cap or right in the front of the store. This section, you guys, I have to just like try to keep tunnel vision so just know that I went down this aisle because I love you guys so much and I just want to give you the entire picture of this store 
However, mainly I stay out of this section unless I go in it for my kids. Now, I do indulge in some candy and some things that are not healthy for you. Absolutely, I am nowhere near perfect, but I find that if I just stay out of that section, then I'm way less tempted to pick stuff, pick stuff up from it. Right across the hall, right across the street, right across the aisle, <laughs> all kinds of hair products, um, so many different options. I shop here for the girls for hair stuff, um, the brushes, the hair ties. Now the bows, I do have a bow subscription for my girls. Yeah, typical Melissa. Um, but sometimes they do have some really cute ones and I'll pick them up. So on the other side of this aisle is kind of like the clothes section, the socks, and then the baby section. And my clothes section is always packed. That's where I always get all my t-shirts that I, you know, use my Chalk Couture ink on. And they're all very good quality. I even found tank tops that are really nice. So always stop by the clothes section as well as the baby section. Again, there's not a whole, whole lot that I would pick up from the baby section, but those little baby blankets are good to keep like in the car. Um, my kids like step all over everything, so I never want to keep anything nice in my car. So those little blankets I use for them in the car, like on the way to school or whatever in the morning when it's cold or in the winter. Um, my kids are spoiled, yes, but <laughs> you know, I, I think back on my childhood and I remember little stuff like that. So not that I make it a point to do things, but I think it's really important to be conscious of the memories that we're giving our kids, if that makes sense. So anyway, that's a one little thing that I do that I hope they'll remember in a good light. So anyway, moving on to the next aisle. Now, the next two aisles are all the food section, the soda, the snacks, and all, all the things in between. And then the very next aisle I call the glass section because it's literally glass from one end to the next. There's a little break with like the contact paper in this aisle, but for the most part, it is all glassware in this aisle. Okay guys, let's cross the street together and be safe. <laughs> You guys, it's, these streets are really not safe. I mean, I come across the street, people hit me with their cart. You know, like these aisles should have stop signs. They should have stop lights, something. I don't know. But <laughs> anyway, be safe crossing the street because I know I am. Anyway, I'm just being funny. But again, always check the end caps. Um, my store always have like the last minute gifts and stuff like that on the end caps. So I know a lot of stores have those kind of stuff in the front of the store but this store I have found a lot of times they're on the end caps so moving on again finishing off the food section this is the canned goods at the end of this is the spices the tuna um pudding you know all that kind of good stuff if you guys go into Dollar Tree although the stores are different they're all kind of laid out the same. So each section will be pretty much that section in a different store, if that makes sense. I know that doesn't really make sense. So if you guys understand me, leave me a heart in the comments or just say heart. We also have a really big freezer section. Um, I believe it's like eight different 
freezer units. I mean, obviously they're all put together, but the point is it's pretty much half the back wall of this store, which is really big. So this is definitely a really good frozen section. And then moving on to the very last aisle in this Dollar Tree, you have all of the toilet, like the toilet paper, the paper towels, um, the bins, the hangers, all the cleaning supplies, all the kind of home where things, if that makes sense, are all down this aisle. I thought these little bins were super cute. Now, again, it's one of those things that I don't pick up because they're really flimsy. I probably will pick them up for my girl's room in the new house because they will have some kind of smaller cube organizer. And my little Izzy is pretty... Um, <laughs> <laughs> destructive bless her heart but I bought all brand new cube storage you know cubes and she sits in them and sits on the sides and tears them up so for that purpose I probably will pick them up but generally if I want to keep them nice I will just spend a little more and go to like Walmart or Amazon or something so anyway, I'm going to show you guys my favorite Dollar Tree cleaning supplies. If you guys are not following me on TikTok and Instagram, I actually uploaded this the other day. Um, but I start off with one of those caddies in the uh, like school section. Next, I get a Dawn dish soap. Now, I know it's not a good value, but I like the bottle. It fits perfectly in here. So once this is out, I just refill it with my bigger bottle. That glass cleaner is the absolute best. And as well as that Lime Away Toilet Bowl cleaner, cleaner is the absolute best as well. Now, the Lysol wipes I usually get in the smaller Dollar Tree brand container. They didn't have them that day, so I just grabbed the small pack just for representation. The two sponges, I do love the yellow one. The steel sponge, I wasn't too sure about, but I did get a bunch of comments saying that they have used them and they love them, so I'm not really sure. And then last but not least, my favorite Dollar Tree cleaning product is the LA Orange. However, you guys... This was a few weeks back, and um, as I said, Blue Land did reach out, and I did tell my husband, like, I want to cut back on the plastics in this new house. We are recycling. We are going to be trying to go green because the things and the chemicals they do that they put in our in our products and which in turn goes into our bodies you guys it's in everything we touch and there's no way to get it out of your life a hundred percent but even just trying a little bit makes a huge difference and i this is gonna sound absolutely insane however since we switched to better ingredient cleaning supplies i swear I feel actually much better. I don't have as many aches and pains every day. Um, just little subtle things that, you know, you didn't even really notice before. I'm noticing like a change, if that makes sense. So anyway, I'm just kind of moseying along, showing you everything um, in the cleaning section, um, the brushes, the microfiber cleaning cloths, the gloves, and then, of course, you have all the plastic bags. And, I mean, you guys just walk down an aisle in a store and just look around at all the plastics that we use on a daily basis. It's kind of scary if you think about it, you know. But, anyway, I'm not going to go on about being environmentally safe or <laughs> whatever because I'm not one of those advocates but I do want to get better about that so I'm definitely trying but anyway uh, moving on we're almost done you guys if you guys are still here let's think leave a um, thumbs up in the comments down below but on my right hand side is all the towels table runners stuff like that um, all the kitchen utensils and tools the um you know wooden spatulas and spoons and scissors and all the kitchen supplies you can think of i love how they display them across that big wall 
So on my way out, I always like to check the glasses, the glasses corral, the end cap. I found this little dishwasher magnet. I've never had a dishwasher before I bought this house. So I'm all excited to like buy stuff for my dishwasher. I don't know. I'm a weirdo. But anyway, I also love the stuff they have up here for kids. They, it, that is a marketing tactic. They put all that kid stuff up there because on the way out, kids grab and grab while they're waiting to go out the door or while they're waiting to get checked out for their parent. So they put all that kid stuff on the end, you know, end caps at the aisles because the kids will grab it and say, mom, buy this for me, blah, blah, blah. So anyway you guys how amazing is that store let me know in the comments which part of the store is your absolute favorite of course mine is the you know seasonal crafting and floral section but i do love like the storage there's so many different sections in dollar tree that i love and i can't wait to hear yours so thank you so much blue lamb for sponsoring today's video Thank you so much for being here and being you. I love each and every one of you so much. And if nobody has told you today, you are absolutely stunning and worthy. You are gorgeous. And I love you guys so much. Like I said, don't forget to hit the thumbs up on the way out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to check out the videos popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload. Or join the DIY fam here to your right.